This is Pastor Phil Lewis with your morning meditation. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it by his grace. Grace to grace. It is uh, Paul says, the just shall live by faith. Those who are justified will live by faith. Uh, Paul says in Romans 3, 21, now the, but now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God <clears throat> and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forth as a propitiation, a substitute, amen, by his blood to be received by faith, a propitiation, a sacrifice, amen, to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Amen. Amen. A grace to grace. It is all by grace. It is all by, about God. It is all because God, in his grace, gives us, imputes to us his righteousness, his holiness, his love. We are justified. We are freed from the penalty of sin. It is as if you, just if I'd never sinned, justified, just if I'd never sinned, justified by, by his grace as a gift. We're not only justified by grace, but grace to grace, we're also sanctified, made holy, by grace. Now, we are justified, that's freed from the penalty of sin, but we are also freed from the power of sin. I was talking to a young um, theologian uh, last evening, a uh, younger theologian, let me put it, um, and we were talking about it is all by the grace of God. Everything that we do, everything that we have in Christ is by his grace, by the grace of God. So we are sanctified also, freed from the power of sin, freed from the power of sin. How does God do that? By his Holy Spirit dwelling in us, by the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trini triune God dwelling inside of us and guiding us and um speaking to us and showing us which way to go. God the Father show, stands behind us over our shoulders, showing the light on Christ who walks ahead of us. Amen. Whose face shines upon us. The Holy Spirit dwells within us and guides us and speaks to us and guards us and keeps us from all evil. If we listen, as we listen, because there are remnants, amen, <clears throat> of the old man still in us. And the Holy Spirit's job, the, 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 the entire triunity, triune God's job is to get clean us up from those remnants, amen to sweep us clean, so to speak, day by day as we go along. Amen. So we are justified. We are, uh, all our faith is uh, um, by grace. Our belief into Christ is by grace. Our belief further in, in our sanctification 
is by grace. And then finally, in, verse, in chapter 5, uh, Paul starts it off and says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, by this grace that God has given, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And in our Lord, as we are in Christ, we receive the peace of God within us. Amen. Amen. I'm going to stop right there today and let you chew on that this morning. Grace to grace. Everything is by God's grace. That doesn't mean we don't have to put some effort in. We have to put a little effort in. But it's easy. Christ's yoke is easy because he carries the yoke with us. God bless you and keep you is my prayer. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you that in everything we receive, it's all by grace. Our, our justification, our, our, our entire salvation, our sanctification. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. And now as we go into our uh, to our families, into our workplaces, into our mar the marketplace. Lord, allow us to allow your grace to just shine through us. Allow your Holy Spirit, your living water to flow out from us onto others that they too may experience your grace and your love and be built up in their faith. Continue to build us up. And we ask it all. In the mighty, matchless name, nature, and character of Jesus, we pray and for your glory, we say, amen, amen, amen. God bless you. I see you out there. Um, it's a wonderful thing to just be with you all this morning. I see you on the live chat. God bless. Take care. Be of a Christ heart today. And remember this, Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you so infinitely much more. Be blessed. Take care.